After my retirement, my wife said if I can paint a house, there was no reason I shouldn't be able to paint pictures. A storehouse of memories of my childhood in a Polish petal emerged from my brush. Throughout Eastern Europe, there were hundreds, maybe even thousands, poverty ridden shtetls, not unlike Opatov, the town I was born. Out of 10,000 inhabitants, more than half were Jews, the majority went to bed hungry. We lived in half of this brick house, right next to the outhouse. By shtetl standards, we were well off. In the right-hand corner is my dog, Finka. Six of us lived in two rooms on the ground floor. There was a slop pot for a leaf during the night. Because I was the eldest, I slept in the kitchen. In the winter, we froze. In the summer, it was another. My mother told me she had a difficult time giving birth to me. So her father put the key displayed on the chair under the small of her back to open the gate, so to speak, and make the passage easier. After classes, Chele boys would visit houses where there was a newborn and receive candies for reciting the prayer. 